By 2050, it is estimated that more than 75% of the Philippine population will be living in urban areas. This growth, if not sustainably managed, could increase and exacerbate the vulnerability of cities and human settlements to climate change impact. Sadly, it is the urban poor and new migrants who tend to live in informal settlements located in environmentally fragile and dangerous areas who are disproportionately threatened by climate risks. The UNIPCC Assessment Report 6 underlined that urban areas and human settlements provide an opportunity to work towards widespread and transformational adaptation and climate resilient development. We can no longer deny that our urban spatial and sectoral plans determine the pattern of climate exposure, social and physical vulnerability, and capacity for resilience now and in the future. To support the Philippine government in improving policies, regulations, and capacities to adapt to climate change, UN Habitat Philippines, with funding support from the German government's International Climate Initiative, implemented the Building Climate Resiliency Through Urban Plans and Designs in 2017. B Group project is implemented in partnership with key government agencies, the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development, Climate Change Commission, Department of Interior and Local Government, National Economic Development Authority, and League of Cities of the Philippines. Since 2017, in support of national climate change frameworks, strategies, and programs, B Group has improved government institutional capacities to manage urban growth and green recovery with climate resilience principles and practices through urban plans and designs. The project has improved the capacities of national government agencies to promote and integrate urban adaptation planning and designs in the institutional policies and regulations issued to guide local government units. At the local level, B Group worked with the cities of Angeles, Cagayan de Oro, Legazpi, Ormoc, and Tagum on developing their climate resilient urban plans and designs. 125 local planners and technical staff receive technical assistance in support of the crafting and updating of local climate change action plan and climate and disaster risk assessment. And we're engaged in various forms of capacity building support, such as training workshops, mentoring and coaching, learning exchange and field exposure visits. Through Be Crooped, the five cities develop risk-informed climate adaptation strategies at the city and neighborhood scales that served as basis for developing demonstration projects on innovative approaches and context-specific processes in building resilience. To facilitate access to climate financing and partnerships, B Group supported the partner cities in packaging their adaptation actions into project portfolios to be able to access climate finance and investments. The five partner cities showcased these projects during the Urban Resilience Investment Forum in 2020, which provided entry points for investment partnerships and long-term cooperation. To date, the cities of Tagum, Ormoc, and Cagayan de Oro have invested and mobilized funds from various sources in the amount of 559 million pesos to implement their climate-resilient urban design projects. With the experiences from the five pilot cities as proof of concept, the project formulated the Urban Planning and Design for Climate Resilience, a reference tool for local governments and planning actors in the Philippines, which aims to guide local actors in developing resilient urban plans and designs to promote climate change adaptation. Accompanying training modules were also developed and are now being used by the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development and other government agencies in improving LGU capacities on climate-resilient urban plans and designs. The project has also introduced improvements in the Climate and Disaster Risk Assessment Tool to further aid policymakers, planners, and decision makers in crafting climate actions that prioritize communities that are most at risk and protect the areas most vulnerable. The large-scale crisis caused by COVID-19 presented us clear entry points to address the nexus of health and climate change with green recovering actions. Now, more than ever, 
the shift from a traditional development process towards a more resilient and green development pathway has become an imperative. Climate resilient urban planning and design again was identified and used as a crucial means to move towards greener and resilient post-pandemic generation. The group promoted holistic mechanisms to address climate change and the pandemic's socio-economic impacts. B Group supported two pilot cities in green recovery planning and investment programming. This included city-level baselining of COVID-19 impacts on urban poor communities, resilient and green recovery trainings and mentoring sessions on designing public open spaces and city-to-city -city learning exchange. From these two cities, B Group developed RGR training modules that are now part of the national government's technical support for local government units for post-disaster and green recovery planning. The project also engaged multi-sector stakeholders to help strengthen the institutional capacity of national government on integrating climate resilience building in human settlements planning and urban management, including green recovery from COVID-19 pandemic and develop the Resilient and Green Human Settlements Framework, a policy document to structure human settlements through the lens of climate change and disaster resilience. Through the project, DSUD was able to initiate the formulation of Development Controls Handbook, a guide that will serve as a reference for LGUs in preparing and implementing their zoning ordinances and for determining the maximum development potential of their areas. Meanwhile, Technical sessions on harmonizing comprehensive land use plan and local shelter plan were also conducted. During these workshops, recommendations were developed on how to integrate the LSP manual into the CLUB steps and processes. This harmonization process provides planning mandate for the LGUs to prepare LSPs and making sure that the shelter plans are in sync with the land use plans and gets funded through the comprehensive development plan and local development investment programs. All these accomplishments are captured and translated to knowledge products that are now available to guide various stakeholders for promoting and acting towards climate resilient urban plans and designs. Beyond these milestones are stories of partners who have steered climate resilience in their respective agencies and cities. The city were able to carry out the greenhouse gas inventory and generate relevant data sets for our central formulation and that serve as the basis for our city's local climate change action plan and guidance in coming up with sustainable urban development plans. On the Victor project, uh, the critical working group were able to internalize climate change and uh, making us more capable in identifying climate action. Sa pamamagitan ng, ng Big Group Di Project ay nag, natuloy namin ang mga consultation sa mga iba't ibang sektor. Dito nakita namin na tinahitahi ang iba't ibang aspeto ng ating pamahalaan, ng ating mga stakeholders. Para sa ganun ay magkaroon tayo ng magandang mga programa, aktividad para ipasok natin ang climate resiliency sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. There remains a wide road for building climate resilience. From the national government to the cities and local stakeholders, a wide array of opportunities can be explored to use climate resilient urban plans and designs for collectively building a better urban future for every Filipino. With these lessons and accomplishments at hand and sustained cooperation with the government and other climate change actors, UN Habitat Philippines continues to move onwards to making cities and communities safe, inclusive, resilient and sustainable.